Hi there, in this video we look at the volume and capacity of cubes and rectangular prisms. We've learned some other information about three-dimensional shapes already, for example the surface area and how to make nets, and information about faces, edges and vertices. If we start with a 1 cm by 1 cm by 1 cm cubed, it is a cube because all the dimensions are the same, the volume of the shape is how much space that shape takes up. We can use that shape to create more shapes that, for example, if they are 4 cm across, they should also be 4 cm backwards and 4 cm up. That's what makes a cube. So how do we work out the volume? Well, let's go back to what we know. When I gave you a square, you know that the area of a square is side times side. Now if we take that square and we flip it over and we build a three-dimensional shape onto it, we still have our square at the bottom side by side, but we have a third dimension side. So the volume is side times side times side. Well, how do we get that? Let's first say side cube because that's shorter. Effectively, we're saying side times side for the base of the shape and we're timesing that by the dimension of the height of the prism. So this could be another formula to use and it would give you the same answer because they're all side times side times side. Let's have a look at why that is. Suppose I give you a shape that is side by side, effectively we are filling that shape the same height or length of the other two sides. And so that's why your volume is your area of your base times your height. If we have a look at an example, we want to work out the area of this cube. Start with your formula. Volume is side times side times side. Or side cubed if you prefer. And substitute your numbers in. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. And they're all in centimeters. And there were three of them times together. Which is why it is cubed. If you like the other formula. Volume equals area of base times height of prism. Again, your base is side times side. Or 5 times 5 times the height of the prism 5 and you would get the same answer. Suppose I give you the volume and I ask you to work out the sides. Well, don't worry, just write your formula down and substitute what you know and what you want into your formula. x times x times x is x cubed, and to undo, you would cube root. The cube root of 216 is 6, and the dimensions are meters because it is a length that you are looking for. Let's look at a rectangular prism now. Suppose we take that cube and we build up a shape into three dimensions where there's a length and a breadth and a height. To work out the volume of a rectangular prism, start with the rectangle, which you know the area of the shape is length times breadth. And let's convert it now into a shape where we build a height onto it. So it is length times breadth times height. Or... Area of the base, length times breadth is the area of the base, times the height of the prism. So that formula is the same for both shapes. Effectively, you're taking your shape and you are filling it up to build a height. And that's why volume is length times breadth times height. Now, let's look at an example. Suppose I tell you we have a shape 15 centimeters times 5 centimeters times 7 centimeters. Those are its dimensions. Start with your formula. Volume equals length times breadth times height and substitute your numbers in. 15 times 5 times 7 is 525 and there are centimeters so it is centimeters cubed. If you use your other formula, your base is length times breadth 15 times 5 times 7 and there you go. Same answer. Supposing I give you two of the sides and the volume and I ask you to work out the third side. The first thing I notice is that instead of meters, I've got centimeters. So my first task is to convert 100 centimeters to 1 meter. Then I write down my formula and I substitute the meters all into the formula. I fix up the right hand side. 8 times 1 times x is 8x and I divide both sides by 8. I could use my other formula and I would get the same answer. Hopefully you feel confident about the volume of a cube and a rectangular prism and the general formula.